I created a brand new practice exam deck for CompTIA Security Plus, exam SY0701. It's complete with explanations for both the correct and incorrect answers, and every card includes a definition of the objective as well as how it's used in a real world scenario. All of these cards were based purely off the Security Plus objectives, and every single objective has a card that matches to it exactly. So if you study this in its entirety, in theory, it should be enough to pass Security Plus. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download it, I'm gonna show you how to use it, and give you a demo of the practice exams. Security Plus is really important. It serves as the foundation for all cybersecurity things. So anyone working in cybersecurity, I would expect them to understand and know all of the Security Plus objectives. It's also really important when it comes to getting federal jobs or working for some kind of defense contractor. They usually require you to have Security Plus plus one other certification. So jumping right into things, I'm gonna show you how to download Anki and then install it. You need this to use the deck, it's free. I'm gonna show you how to download and import the deck and I'm gonna give you a tour of the different practice questions and show you how they line up with the objectives. So I'll put a link in the description to download Anki. Anki is a smart flashcard system. Uh, I'll put another link in the description actually that shows you how to really use Anki and take advantage of it. It's really important that you know how to use it, so definitely check that out. But once you go to the site, you can click download Anki and then it will scroll down and you just pick the version of the operating system that you're using and then you download it and install it. It's just one of those next, next, continue things. And then you open it up. It will look something like this. And I'll also put a link in the description for the deck. So go ahead and download that. Say it's in your downloads folder, it will look something like this. It'll say like CompTIA Security Plus, or it might have like a slightly different name that's like prod something. Um, so just double click this like so, and then say import. And if you installed Anki correctly, it should automatically install and then import it into uh, your Anki deck. And it will look something like this. And if you see like 20, 20, 20 here, it's just Anki settings. Um, it will show you a maximum of 20 cards per day. So just uh, click this gear on the very top and then say options and then just change these to like 9999 like so and say save. And then you should be able to see all of the practice questions in each deck. And these are organized by domain. So for example, this right here are all the CompTIA Security Plus domains. So like the first domain is general security concepts and they, they, it maps to these. So threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, like so. Security program management and oversight, and it maps to these. So I'll scroll down to this and say that we want to start studying with uh, general security concepts. So if we click on this and we say study now, Basically, it will present the question to you like so, like which of the following is considered a technical control in an organization's security strategy? And then you'll read the multiple choice answers, establishing policies, conducting employee security awareness training, requiring visitors to sign in, and implementing a firewall to restrict network traffic. So what is considered a technical control? So say in your head, you think it, the answer is D. So you click show answer down below, and you see that it's D like so. And if it was easy for you, you'll you'll click easy down below. And if you like totally failed it, you had no idea, you would click again. And this dictates how often Anki will show you the card. So that's pretty much how you study them. And then I want to point out uh, a few things in here. It's really important to know what you're looking at because you can basically use this deck only to study in theory and then pass because it will it will have like the explanation of why D is correct. It'll have the explanation why the other answers are incorrect. And then this basically talks about the definition for that particular objective. And then this covers a real world example of how this objective is relevant. So for example, an organization installs an intrusion detection systems and firewalls to monitor and block malicious network traffic, relying on technology to infer security without manual intervention. It's talking about technical security controls. And, and down here, this is really, really important. Um, this covers like, for this particular question, this covers the high level domain it's a part of. So general security concepts, domain one, general security concepts, the topic. So compare and contrast various types of security, security controls, compare and contrast various types of security controls, and then the low level objective. So technical controls, which is a control category, control category, technical controls, and like so, and then say this was easy. The next question comes, we say enter. Um, I won't read this whole thing, but you can see down here, same domain, same topic, and then the objective is managerial controls, which is here. And then every single uh, one of these objectives, like 
literally every single one of these here has a card corresponding to it, which covers the correct answer, incorrect answers, objective definition, and how that objective uh, is relevant to the real world. And if you don't want these to be displayed to you in order, I believe you can like shuffle them. So if we go back to decks and we click the this high level deck up here, like so, we can click this and we can say options. And I believe we can say display order and we can just like uh, set all these to random reviews. Oh, we can set the review store order to random and then we can set the new card gather and the new card store order to random. And then it will, it will like inside of here, it should randomize like all of these uh, within their own respective domain. And the idea is you basically go through all of these like for many, many days, at least like maybe two or three weeks or something. And the idea is you see every card multiple times and then the cards that are more difficult that you tend to forget, you'll end up seeing those more often than not. And then the cards that are easy, you'll see them less. And if, you, if you're drilling this every day for maybe two to three weeks, it just depends on how much you can get in. It will bring you pretty close to being able to pass the exam. I'll put links to all of this stuff in the description. You don't need to trade your email address or anything like this. You can just install Anki, download the deck and start using it. And if you get to the point where you start wanting to get real hands-on experience with actual enterprise tools, definitely check out the Cybrange. We have over 1200 members in there. We do a weekly meeting and there's also internship opportunities and it, it works quite well and it's, it's really quite good. So I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And CompTIA did also release a beta exam for CompTIA Sec AI Plus. We actually created a deck for that as well. And I'm actually going to try to get that exam. It kind of bridges the gap between AI and cybersecurity. Um, it's still in beta. Um, you can sign up for the beta until October 17th or something like this, but definitely check out this video. I cover that and I share a practice deck for that as well. But yes, we'll see you in the next video.